Hello, welcome to an e-demo on the Custom Layout Designer in Victor Unified Client. In the Victor Surveillance pane here, we have a Layouts button at the top. And if I pull that down, you can see we have a number of video layouts which are available for selection. What we can do though, is use the Custom Layout Designer to create our own video layout. So let's take a look at how we can do that. If I just close this, and I'm going to go up to the Setup tab, and I'm going to choose System Values and then Video Layout Preferences. And you can see in this pane we have all the layouts in our system and we can restrict which are available for selection and which are not using the checkboxes underneath each layout. Looking down at the bottom though, you can see we have a new section here called Custom Video Layouts. And it's in here we can create our new custom layouts. So what I'm going to do then is just choose the Add button and that's going to open up the Custom Layout Designer. And as always, in Victor, the first thing to do is give it a name. And once I've done that, I can move down to the Layout Designer section and I can start to create my layout. Firstly, I could choose to select an existing layout as the base for my new layout. Or I can manually select the number of columns and rows using these drop downs here. Once I've done the columns and rows, what I need to do is select the aspect ratio of the layout, so that's going to be standard, widescreen or portrait. I'm going to go for widescreen, and then I can click this button here, and that's going to generate the layout which I've selected. Once I've done that, I can now manipulate it further. So the first thing I can do is if I select multiple cells, what I can do is actually merge those cells together. So just select them, and you can see they're outlined in yellow there to indicate that they're selected. And if I just choose the Merge button, that's going to merge all of those into one large cell. What you can do with a merged cell is split them again. So we can do that either vertically or horizontally again, just by selecting the merged cells. And there we go. I can also add images to display in the cells. And to do that, I can just right click on one of the cells and choose Add Image. I can navigate to an image file and just open it up and that's going to be permanently displayed in that cell. So that's really great for branding your Victor interface with your corporate identity. And the final thing we can do here is set pane ID. So if I just choose this button, you can see that all my panes are given an ID. And initially, these will just be numbered sequentially. What I can do though is change the IDs and to do that, it's just a case of choosing a cell and then choosing another cell to swap IDs with. So you can see if I choose number 8 and then number 9, those two numbers swap around. So once I'm done configuring, I'm going to save and close that. And you can see that layout then now appears in my video layout preferences at the bottom there. If I move over to my surveillance pane and choose the layouts button, you'll see that that layout is now available for selection. And there we go, and there's the corporate branding in the upper left where we placed it when we were designing it as well. If I just flick back over to system values, you can see if I right click on my layout, there's an export option there. So what I could do is save this layout, and I can move that to a machine then, and I can import it into another Victor system without needing to create it again.